This question tests your ability to describe a molecule using the VSEPR model. A careful read of the question tells us that we need to examine the molecule NCl3, determine the general geometry and hybridization around the nitrogen atom, and estimate the Cl-N-Cl bond angle. In part A, it's important to note that the answer requires the geometry that describes the arrangement of both the bonding and non-bonding electron pairs, not the molecular geometry, which only describes the arrangement of the bonded atoms. Now plan your approach. To do a VSEPR analysis, we first need to draw a Lewis structure to figure out where all the electrons belong. Then we can count the electron domains, and from there determine the basic geometry of the molecule. This will give us all the information we need to answer the question. So to solve the question, execute your plan. To draw a Lewis structure, we first need to know how many valence electrons the molecule has. In NCl3, there are three chlorine atoms with seven electrons each, and one nitrogen atom with five electrons, for a total of 26 electrons. With those 26 electrons, we can fill the octets of all four atoms. Now we can see that there are one, two, three, four electron domains. This corresponds to a tetrahedral geometry. For part B, you should recall that all the angles in the tetrahedral molecule are the same, and equal to 109.5 degrees. Now this is only strictly true if the central atom is actually bound to four atoms. Our molecule has a bulky lone pair occupying one of the four domains, so the Cl and Cl angles will be slightly smaller. But the question just asks for an approximate angle, so 109.5 degrees will do just fine. Finally, the nitrogen atom we have drawn requires four hybridized orbitals, 1s and 3p, so the hybridization around n will be sp3. The only tricky part worth checking about this question is that, unusually, you haven't been asked for the molecular geometry. If you had been, the answer would have been trigonal pyramidal.